In today's tutorial, we'll learn how to install Tektro Auriga Comp disc brakes. We'll be covering other brands in future tutorials. For this job, you will need two 4 and 5 mm Allen wrenches and a T25 Torx wrench. Your bike will also need to have compatible disc brake mounts on both the hubs and frame and fork. First, you'll have to remove the wheel from the bike. Attach the rotor to the hub using the supplied bolts making sure the rotation direction of the disc is installed in the same direction of the forward wheel movement. Tighten all six bolts with your T25 Torx wrench until they are snug but not fully tightened. Then fully tighten the bolts in the following pattern until all are equally tightened to four to six newton meters. Place the brake lever with the half clamp on the handlebars, with the hose facing towards the center of the handlebars. Tighten the brake lever clamp in the desired position with a 4 mm Allen bolt. Tighten these bolts to 5 to 7 newton meters. If needed, adjust the brake lever reach closer to the handlebars with a 2 mm Allen wrench. Before installing the disc caliper adapters, make sure your wheel axle is fully seated into the drop hose with the brake rotor on the caliper mounting side. Mount the adapter with the engraved F or R facing toward the axle as shown. Tighten the adapter bolts to 6 to 8 newton meters of torque. Make sure the pads are correctly positioned in the caliper. Then place the caliper over the rotor with the bleed screw facing away from the wheel. Attach the caliper to the adapter using the supplied Allen bolts. Loosely tighten the bolts so you can still move the caliper. With the caliper mounting bolts loose, Fully depress the brake lever and keep the lever depressed so the caliper correctly centers itself on the rotor. With the brake lever depressed, tighten the caliper mounting bolts to 6 to 8 newton meters. Use a zip tie to fasten the brake hose to ensure it is out of the way. In our next tutorial, we will cover how to bleed the brake lines on this model.